G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zoboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, where I'm back in Alpha 21 in Immersion. And you may notice there's been some changes and nice piano chimes happening to my house over here. My little bassy is really starting to come together. Before I leave for the day, there is one more thing I wanted to add. I've got myself my little bookshelf over here, and that's going to need a nice comfy chair to sit in to read my books by the window. It's clipping a bit, but that's all right. That's right. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. And all is good and gravy. Got all my normal stuff. You're going to hand my supplies to the tradie, but also chuck you away. Nice. We're good. We're good. We're golden. Let's crack on. Good morning, sunshine. No time to waste. I need to go and find everything. There is a deer in the streets. <laughs> Probably a doe in the sheets, but... Oh, that was, that was just an absolutely bang awful shot from me. Follow it up with a firearm instead and quickly go and harvest you up. I'm at the point now where I really just don't want to spare any extra food I might find. If you see a deer, it's made of breakfast, so grab it and bring it home with you. Thank you very much. Ooh, and an untouched mailbox. Ow, with nothing. Never mind. So it is day 13 today. So it's day 14 tomorrow. Got a little bit of time before the Blood Moon Horde gets here, which means I need to make the most of the time I have. I want to leave this town after day 14. Like, I don't do the usual thing that if I survive uh, two weeks in this game, I'll raise the difficulty and make everything just a little bit worse. But, oh. All right, never mind. I scared, I scared the chicken away. Catch you later then. Um, but to leave this town with the high difficulty, I'm going to need a better form of transportation. So I need to push for the mini bike. I can make the mini bike if I find the parts, but to be able to make the parts for it, I need vehicles 20. And for that, I'm going to need four more books. Do I have any skill points at the moment to spend? I don't. But oh, that's the thing. So spending points into skills means I find more of those books. Mm, but I need to spend so well, at least two more skill points to get the first level of Grease Monkey. That's asking a lot. That's asking an awful lot of me. I'm going to have to put that to the side. And instead, just head on out this morning and try and find some vending machines to try and grab some lockpicking candy to get into all the chests down here. I don't remember there being a vendor in Butcher Pete, so I'll leave you behind. I think one of these might have a decent shot at having a vendor inside. Can I peer through the windows? I can see ooh, a fair bit of loot in there, which is very tempting, but not the loot I'm looking for, nor the droids. You don't have anything either. All right, that's all very disappointing game. Vending machines have been few and far between, and it's very, ooh, very upsetting. I keep looking for them and finding nothing. Maggie's Corner Cafe. Oh, I reckon that sounds like someone that might have a cheeky vendor in it. It's also got a cheeky car in it. Anything inside that's getting me excited? There's, what, a coffee machine? Normally, it would get me very fizzy, but not today. And not really anything in there either. Why is it... Why are they so hard to find? Why are they so few and far between? I didn't think I was asking for much by looking for a vendor, but apparently I really am. This is very, very disappointing. There's a drinks vendor there, not a snack vendor. There's now two types, which is like halving my chance of finding them. I haven't raided all the letterboxes through here before. Magnum Enforcer. 20% less stamina with a 44 drawn. What's in you? Ooh, a big hitter's book. Thank you. And last but not least, a ranger's book that I can go and sell. Mm, nah, nothing. I'll beat my way into here if I have to. It's all bulletproof glass. I'm willing to sacrifice to get myself the vending machine. Still nothing. Still bloody nothing. And you're broken anyway. Although I do actually need steel. So while I'm here then quickly change you over for that one break you down for a couple of bits of forgy steely goodness and get on my way where would another one be i should at this point i should have it memorized where vending machines are but i'm an idiot so i have it the sun's looking high enough that i reckon it's probably around about 6 a.m now which means trading will be open and he can take his bloody supplies out of my pockets to stop burdening me with all the things that he needs from him. Just asking a lot and giving me donuts, his old mate trade him. You're untouched as well with, ooh, a knife guy book. Extra good bladey goodness. Nice, thank you. I mean, it's not exactly what I'm after. I'm still looking for vehicle stuff, but if you want to give me that, I'm all for it. Missed it. Didn't miss that one. You're empty. So are you. Nice. Not sure if Trady is actually open. No, nah, his open sign is lit up. So you are good to rock and roll. All right. I've got all my eggs in your rather unsteady basket there, champion. 
You've got sugar butts, hackers, rockbusters. You've got so many options, but no lockpicking candy. Is it just not a thing anymore? I've been looking for bleeding many days. Thanks. Here you, you go. Here's your supplies you needed. I've already got a steel pick. That steel pick is going to last me a long time, actually. Iron pickaxe, no thank you. Military helmet, potentially. Although pipe bombs will come in handy too. And uh, antibiotics. What am I currently rocking? Tier 5 padded hood or a tier 3 military helmet. I reckon that is probably the best option. Thank you very much. Got any special jobs for me? Back out the trader queue to the north. Um, you keep asking me to go there, but I'm not going to go there yet. No infestations, but you do have... A fetch and clear to the north or to the uh, to the west, sorry. I reckon that one. I reckon that one. Jim and Tim's bullets down. and booze. Oh, what a place. What a place that is. And it's down. It's down where the rest of them are too, with another ATM to check. Ooh, okay. Alright. Yeah, now nah, you tickled me fancy there, champion. I'll be back in a jiffy. Well, before I go on my grand big adventure and hopefully come back with all of the loot, I need to empty out all my pockets. You have nothing in you. Get nothing in your hands. Stare at the water for a second. And start drinking using my lovely, lovely uh, water filter mod. Such good get. Such good get. Could have made this way shallower than it is, but it still works fine for me. Just fill yourself right up with murkies. A cheeky hundo hydration. Love it. Quickly bang in some snacks as well. Cheeky bacon and eggs. I mind if I do. All right. Close our doors. We're raised in a barn. And away we go on yet another whirlwind adventure. Sailing for adventure on the big long black thing. Instead <laughs> of the big blue wet thing. Right. Out we go. I really hope that ATM, not the ATM, the bloody uh, vending machine in the bowling alley, I think it was, has those lock picking candies. Because... It used to be that sugar butts were rare as hen's teeth, but now apparently they're everywhere and I can't find a bloody hint, a whiff, a sniff of lockpicking candy. It's ridiculous. Where is it all? That's the joint just there. Jim's and Tim's, Gun Fortress, Beer and Liquor. It's got everything that a grown survivor could possibly need, I guess, but I'm going to come back to you in just a moment. There's the bowling alley and that should have the vending machine inside. And actually, didn't I leave a bunch of gubbins in this box? I did, and actually some pretty decent gummies in there too. I'll take all of them. There is the prized Vendo. No time for a game just yet. Health bars, eye candy, skull crushes, Adam Chunkies. You are gagging. You are absolutely gagging. You're taking the reddest and warmest of p one double fives. Stitch up. Genuine stitch up. Maybe Jimmy Boy's got one for me, but... This is getting this is getting difficult. Well, everyone, cross your fingers and toes and what other whatever other dangly bits you may or may not have into some real tight knots, because I need this to go well for me. It is day 13, but I want ooh, repair kit. I do want to get out of here. How are you looking? Oh, you are like. You have taken a beating. Alright, here you go. Love your work. You can get repaired with that, and I can repair you with that too. Free up some space. Lovely, lovely. You can also hold. All of that for me. In fact, that can get stacked. That can get stacked. That can get stacked. That stuff's less likely to. Uh, except mm, you. You can go with me. That can go in there instead. Nice. Okay. Well, ready or not. Oh, here we go. First up. <gasps> Vendo. I don't want to reset the PY. Potentially lose access to the Vendo. Are you working? <gasps> you are working. Oh. No. No. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Skull crushes, cover cats, hackers. No lock picking goodness. Stitched up. Absolutely stitched. Let's reset you then. And hope. No. Now it's a broken Vendo. You son of a bitch, God. You're really having a laugh. God damn it. Got a Yeti at the counter. All right, hold on a second. You just work way outside and sit down, please. Oh, mate. Oh, my God. Oh, missed it. Oh, he tried to give me a cuddle, but no, thank you. Unless you're bringing log picking candy. I don't want a bar of it. More seeding books. I mean, I don't really want them. I guess I did spec into living off the land, so makes sense on finding them. I gotta, I gotta find a log picking candy. I gotta, because there's gonna be a decent 
uh, chest at the end of all this. And I've only got my one lockpick, so I can't even have a crack at it. I just got to stare at it and cry and leave. Well, just because you can't give me snacks doesn't mean you can't give me other things of value. I'll take some steel out of you, please. That's not much, but it's some. Given I don't have a crucible at the moment, it is heckin' valuable to take every time I find you. Break down you. I feel like this doesn't take as long as it used to. I feel like it definitely used to take much longer to break down Vendos, though it is a tier six range. But either way, couple of seconds, well worth it. I'm going to try and go. Oh, can I champ? Oh, I was going to try and slide my stick right through that gap. And all mate's like, absolutely not. going to take it in the face like a champion instead. I'm going to try and get through this joint as quick as I can to potentially get another job from Trady and keep pushing the envelope a little bit. I say, I saw one. I didn't see any doggos. Drop you. I now know that uh, the glancing blows on blocks with a spear is significantly better than the other melee weapons. So take advantage of that. No one in there. No one round the back. No doggos. No nothing. Another Vendo. More steel. And any secrets? No, that's a new looking block though. I reckon it might be secrets behind them. Secrets. Break down you. Get out of the way, please, with my new fire axe. I just want to see... Just want to see. No, nothing behind there either. Dang. Oh, two lockpicks in the garbage here. Thank you very bloody much. That gives me two chances, two cracks at getting into the uh, the chest at the end of this before I can't do it anymore. And you never know. You never bloody know. I should be checking all of the garbage every time I see any. There is the satchel. So I won't fail this quest. <laughs> at least I hope I won't. Anything else for me? There'll be more on the roof, but first, liquor. I'm going to start taking this cornmeal with me as well, actually, because there's actually some pretty decent stuff in here that can get me into some better positions, like cornbread and stuff, pumpkin bread. Some of this stuff is actually pretty out you going and pretty lovely. And now that, like, the... Uh, the cooking system, like the learning system with magazines is different. I might unlock some things earlier than I would just go to like Sham, uh, like Sham Chowder or Meat Stew, especially given how bleeding long Meat Stew takes to cook. Oh, mate, stay down for me. Any PGs? Ooh. There's Jew collectors in the world? I didn't know that there was. I didn't know you could find them. I assume it's going to be a broken one, but I didn't know you could find them out in the world anyway. There's an... Oh, I hear flaps. There's another running generator. Missed it. Missed it. Got it, finally. Jeez, I am not having a good time aiming my spear right now. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. Well... While you're all lined up like that, like you're doing a conga, I'll penetrate my spear through all ears and sit you down, take advantage of some nice parthing. Oh, jeez, I don't want to interrupt that. All right, <laughs> you guys are clearly busy. I'm not going to break that generator. I didn't break it in the last POI I was in, and I feel like that enabled me to open the door at the end. Cheeky Vitos, not too bad. Had leg armor, which is... Have I not had leg armor this whole bleeding time? Oh, hang on a sec. What's this? What's this? What, you? Weak, uh, weakened armor. The durability of one or more items have been weakened and should be repaired. All right. Well, it's obviously you. So I'll repair you. Whack you back on again. Again? Jeez. Okay. Lungs work for me. That's cool. It wasn't helping me now because I don't have the HUD. But that's good to know that's now actually something that is implemented. You are... Oh, you're a very broken Jew collector. Yeah, but like you can actually tell you when uh, things are broken. And I assume that carries a debuff with it as well. That's really good. I like that. Well, not good, but it's it's immersive. Therefore, good. There's actually a switch just here. This sounded like it opened a door down below. There's wires going everywhere. Oh, there's a dog kennel. Dog kennel means doggo, but roof means safe from doggo. Where are ya? Where is the poor patrol? Around the back? No, nothing. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that it's inviting me to drop down and... Pick a fight with a bunch of zombies I don't want to. Aim lower than you think. Perfect. Where is the dog? Where is the dog? I don't want to drop down. He's not hiding in the corner over there. And he might... He might be in the reeds over that way. Oh, I don't like this. I hate it. I don't want him to charge me. I'm just going to have to get ball with it. Nope, no one's coming. Take my arrows back. Thank you. I can hear some shuffling outside. There's a wandering horde coming past, I think. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure of. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll deal with you guys in a second. But first, put down both of you. No dog. No doggo. All right. Fair enough then. Well, when you guys break this fence, I'll be happy to stick my spear through it. Oh, sorry. I might even try and help you. Help. There you go. Spear. Nice. All right. Well, if you guys are all stand them. I've got the uh, benefit of getting all my stamina back with every kill, so I can just power attack to my heart's content. Oh, that's too good. That's too good. That's more than a rug. That's a hallway runner of zombie carcasses. Absolutely bleeding perfect. Before I get too carried away with just how fantastic I am at this game, because let's be honest, it's pretty top tier. I can't even sign up with a straight face. Uh, I'm going to quickly make sure I go through and grab... That's what I'm going to come out later. Any garbage that might be around. All right. So there's probably going to be a, like one of those things where you finish the POI, then there's a doggo waiting for you at the end. So keep that in mind. Some extra glue. I'm a bit cucumbered. Any extra trash though? No, none. No, none. You. I can take the folding chair. Give him the chair. Scrap it for the iron butt. Open that. That's not a soldier. That's just a mannequin. You're through a door. Oh, not for much longer, though. Jeez, you pumped that open very quickly. Where's all the rest of yours, though? Oh, there you go. There's surely more. Keep the rifle out just in case. Get on top of the uh, on top of the counter. No? Where? There's one. There's two. Go with the bow. I was going to say back yourself, and I did. There's a derpo coming in. Hold on. Hold on. I need to go see where that's coming down. Hold on a second. Oh, never mind. I forget. I forget that markers are by default now, so I can just mark that, and I can go and get that another time. I'm so used to having to try and see it and guess where it's going to be. Oh, there's more. There's more to this joint? All right. I thought this would be the last room, given there's, like, ammo crates and stuff around, but all right. Say less. I'm still excited about it. That does mean it's midday, though, so we're halfway done. We're living on a pram. Take that. I'm going to turn you immediately into more arrows. Free up some more inventory space. Nice. Grab the rest of this, Gubs. Are you... No, I thought you might be a wrench. Did you give me anything cool? Any, like, armor parts or something? Nah, nothing. I'm being a good little sausage and not leaving anything behind. Some more lead. Thank you. Ooh, a tool's digest. Thank you as well. Any coffees for me? Nah, just some fluids. I need lockpicks too. Not to be. Also need murky waters. Not to be. All right, you got to give me something better than that. You got to give me something better than that because I'm searching everything and... Ooh. Can I take you... Can I take that with me? I want that on my wall. No, it just gave me paper, but like... Poster? No, um... I don't even know what that would be. I want that though. I want to have decorations like that back at my house. I love those like schematic kind of drawings, like the blowout. I mean, I used to be an engineer once upon a time, so it tickles me just that little bit to try like to see those um, designs, like those blueprints for stuff. I, I want that. How do I, how do I get that for home? I am now completely chockers. I'll scrap you for the lead. I will scrap you for the iron and take that. I need to get out of here, please. Can't go that way. This is all... Oh, this is all pretty serious kit. All right, hang on a second. I just need to get out of the POI and I'll come back to it in a moment. If I go, like, up through here, maybe. Break you with the fabled old barbed wire that no longer exists for some reason that I will not accept for, uh, um, any of the blame for, despite the fact I probably should. Up we go. Out we go. Let's go chuck some shit in a bike. Oh, there's a lot of loot here. How have we got to the main loot room yet? Oh, right. That's chockers too. All right. Plan B, make myself a secure storage chest uh, again. Seem to be doing that quite a lot these days. You, give myself a little bit of extra space. Chuck out you and whack you right on the ground. Perfect. Right, all of that. Get out of me, please. Got a slightly better shovel now. I'll take all of you and do the same. All right, let's get back in and keep on going. Yeah, look, there's even like an AK one. The fabled shovel-handled AK. I want that one too. I don't know what you would be called. I'll leave you there for now in case there is a way to pick you up that I just don't know. Because I want that stuff. Anything else? Ooh, another tier three. <coughs> Sorry. Blah. Another tier three button. I most went, ooh, because it was something to sell. All right. That joint's done. Let's get downstairs and what's probably going to be 
a rather dicey environment. I'd love us. Oh, there's all the loot too. I'd love a suppressor for my rifle. Not to be though. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Giving me a target, love. Marilyn Monroe, eat your heart out with the fucking hourglass shape of you. All right, enough ogling. Missed it. Missed my chance to get up close and personal with that booty. Couldn't handle it. No one is surprised. You're gone. You're gone. I think it's just another couple of regulars in the back. Dead. Over the top. Oh, sizzly. There's a bonfire of zombies happening, but they're all nice and gone. I did hear the sound that the quest is now done. Watch for doggos, but we're sorted. Imagine being so thick that you stick out around a pillar that wide. Outstanding work from her. She didn't miss any of her squat days at the gym before, well, the, before the apocalypse happened. So it was all for nothing. Uh, grab all the rest of you. What have you got for me? A T2 pipe baton. I will actually... If I don't find... Hang on a second. I've got... Do you give me... I think you might. Do you give me pipes? Because if I grab a couple of pipes and repair you and see what you're worth, it might be worthwhile. You did not, but I'll find some more around here somewhere. That's the wrong attack motion. That's the better attack motion. Grab all the, uh, the random gubs, then the loot and go. Got some pipes out of these beds, so you're good. I can repair you and you. So you're worth 38. You're worth... 68. You're not worth me taking home. Then I'll take it for the eye. And I'll probably do that for both of them, if I'm being honest. So we have a gun safe and a locked chest. And I've got four lock picks on me. Not the best equation. I'll pop open all of these and see if I can get some luck with them. Although, I mean, this is another building in the line of chests and things. So if I do ever find that lock picking candy, I'm going to be rolling in the Benjamins. Speaking of posters, I'm going to need at my house very soon. That's a damn fine fighter jet. Shame these girls in the way, covering up all the nice sexy lines. Right, you, what have you got for me in the gun store box? A rifle book and a tier three pipey, which I shall can repair you immediately. A bow hunter's book, thank you. You're now worth, kind of, I mean, I suppose it's a pipe weapon at the same tier, so of course it'll be worth the same. More rifle parts and a bipod mod. Thank you very much. I'll we'll scrap you for the lead. You're already empty, you're already done. What else have we got? Just some ammo. For ooh, machine gun parts, scrap you for the lead, take the rest of you. You've got a rad remover mod. Fucking how you doing, hot stuff? I reckon I'll put you in instead of the crippler mod, chuck you into them. So if I do come across something that's glowing green and scary, at least I have some sort of way to fight them. All right, moment of truth. I might have to go like this, actually. Hang on a second. You, there's one lock piece so I get carried away and accidentally use too many. I've only got three attempts. Let me into both the boxes, please, so I can take home all the shinies back to Trady Potato and get some decent gubbins. It's not going to work for me, is it? I, I'm still bitter that I never found any of my lockpicking candy because that's what happens. One down. Didn't even hear the sound of it breaking. Last one. Last one. Last one, please. Let me in. Let me in. No! God damn you! Well, just gonna have to mark you like this. Gonna go save waypoint. That one, gonna go gun safe plus chest. That's, yep, yep, there you go. Fat fingers save lives. So I've got what? A chest, a chest and an ATM. I already did the ATM. That's already gone. Can I like, which is why I like double click you and remove you, but that's, that's a lot of loot there already and waiting for it. Let's get up. There's my bigger doggo, don't forget. No doggos this time. Straight out the door and away we go. Oh, yeah. Well, it is what it is. I can't do much about it other than just pow. In my endeavor to try and free up as much space as possible, I'm going to pull that rabbit remover back out of my shotgun, of my uh, my AK and put it into my pipe shoddy. I'm going to fire you and chuck that into there. That's a couple of extra spaces, which I love because I'm definitely running out of room in here. What can I get rid of then? What don't I really need right now? I can turn all that wood into that. I can scrap you. A bit of extra space. Uh, what else? That can get scrapped. That's fine. Cornmeal. I don't really want you there. In fact, you know what? You can go away as well. Nice. Take the rest of you. Got three more spots. Three more spots. Where can you go? What can hold you? You know what? They're just tier three battens. Scrap you. Scrap you for the iron. I'll take you because I might be able to chuck you into something and make you more valuable. Nice. We're good to rock and roll. Definitely got the big old ticks. So we're happy as a cucumber. Uh, I need to do a U-Banger and go back the other way. Okay. Well, my quest for vending machines and, um, what's it called? Lockpicking candies continues. 
There wasn't one in the bear den. I mean, there might be one upstairs, but I'm absolutely not going anywhere near that. No bloody thank you. That's already all empty. All right, let's just get it. Let's just get it. Go back to trading, hand in the quest and... Oh, dog. See what we can find. I'm getting chased. I'm getting chased by a barky boy. Get some distance. Get some distance. He's stopped. He's given up. Well, I can still see a point of ears. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Good. I can hear the whale in the distance. We're good and golden. I do wish there was a way to find, like, candies in loot and stuff. Like, potentially, like, the broken vending machines. You should be able to loot and potentially find a couple of uh, candies or whatever in them. I mean, it's already broken. So you're not going to be able to use it going forward. So, like, the benefit isn't there. But then you can break it down for steel afterwards. I feel like that would be... A good way to do things. I'm going to get rid of one thing in my inventory to go and see old mate so I can pick something up. But yeah, like over like in like uh, garbage or something like that, like a relatively low chance to find a couple of bits here and there. All right, old day. mate, you're going to give me 10% more damage to 44s. Iron knuckles, anybody else, sledgehammer or a way to head mod. Nothing of you is tempting at all. So I will take that one. No, I won't. Okay, there you go. I had, had to do the weird little handshake, but we're fine. Grab that one back. Grab you back. And you actually restocked today, didn't you? So, oh, vehicle adventures as well. That's three vehicle books. Oh, that might get me to the mini bike. That might get me to the mini bike with all the stuff I need to sell and whatnot. Oh my goodness gracious gosh. Okay, I'm going to go back home. Paintings and pictures. That must be how I get my schematic for the Dolce. I'll take you as well. If I don't want to lose you. Now I'll come back. I'll come back. You just, you wait right there. I'll be right back in a second. So this is all the gubs I got to sell. Do I have any extra mods I can chuck into my tier six pipe shotgun? I can put you in there. I can't put you in there at all. Uh, if I had two mods and you might just do it. So you're going to have to have that one. You're going to worth a thousand dollar redos. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you for another day because two more mods in there is worth another grand. It's just a shame that I don't have any more mods to chuck into you. Give me that. Give me... Where are you? Where are you? There. That one. So I can repair both of you. I need to repair some of this stuff as well, actually. Give me that one back. Give me that one back. Everything needs to get repaired. Just for those extra last scraps of dosh that I'm actually pretty desperate for. I've decided to sell that C2 hunting rifle. It's only going to give me one machine gun part. Uh, sorry, one rifle part back. And I do actually have bulk of them. We'll just check, though. Uh, like, snipe rifles, what do you take? You're only taking one per pop as well. Like, you're expensive for everything else. But, like, it's just the parts themselves that I'm actually pretty flush on. Nice. Good. Whilst the time's looking pretty late, but we're going to get so many good things out of this. So many good things out of this. Bobby boy, open the cash registers, ch champion, because I'm about to buy and sell a bunch. I'm going to keep the parts that I found, because I now know I can craft some good things out of it. Can't sell another pipey. Can sell the pickaxe I found, the hunting rifle, and the knuckles. Made a cool, like, 10 grand out of all that. Not too shabby. Right. More importantly, though, what can you give me that's going to be... Oh, maybe I should have... <laughs> Maybe I should have got some awesome sauce for all of this, but there's no real big purchases happening right now, so we're fine. Bunker Buster mod. I could use an extra one of those for my wrench. Mods are always good to have. Generator bank, tempting. Trip wires, a lot of decent stuff. Battery bank, also very tempting. But most importantly, vehicle books. I'll take those. Scrapping for fun. You're worth like 200 bucks now, so might take those with me as well. Big hitters books left behind. A DD cargo mod uh, schematic. Two grand. Yes, please. Water filters. No, thank you. Got four of those already, so we're fine there. Crossbow bolts. No, thanks. I'll definitely take the ammo making materials. Anything. Ooh, tier three ratchet. Six and a half thousand dollar redos. Nah. Nah, buddy. Not happening. Rifle parts are expensive, and I've got bulk already. What else is here? Anvil. Already got two, but thanks. Structural brace mod. Could go with an extra one, maybe? I mean, 500 bucks. Yeah, nah, sure. Why not? What else is here? Some shades for perception. That actually... Hang on a second. I'm already wearing shades. Oh, they're tough, guys, Sunnies, though. They're not actually for my perception tree. Not really spent so my points getting you to level 7. Level 8 might help me get you, though. No, level 10. All the next levels I need are all tenors, so... Maybe I'll just buy you anyway, just in case. Hedge my bets. For 1300 bucks, probably not. I'll take my posters. I'll take the cement. I'll take the cobblestone, because it's all nice and cheap. 
And that's all the stuff already sold back to you. That's a good day. That's a good day. Go on, shop. And that's fantastic. There's nothing else out of you that I really want. I could have bought a $5,000 iron shovel, but you're going to have to hold on to that for a rainier day. Thanks all right. For shopping here. No whackers, knackers. Can I also grab another job off you? Fetch and clear. Tier zombies. A buried supplies. As the crickets start see? chirping. Yeah, nah, all right. Yeah, nah, all right. But more importantly, read you. All of that. Read both of you and read you. Now, if I go here and I go mini bike. No, level 20. Level 20. What am I? Vehicles. I am. That's the wrong, that's the wrong menu. Try this one. Vehicles. No, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I need one more. There's another cop car just here. Have I? Ooh. Wait, what? Why do you have loot in you? Have I... Did I beat you to death and then not take any gubbins out of you? I'll take that. Re, like, loot respawn is definitely off. That's all very peculiar. I don't know. Why well, have to double check that? Yeah, I always have loot respawn turned off completely. That's confused me utterly. I would have thought I would have killed the cop car, killed all the zombies that came with the cop car, and then looted it, but maybe I just forgot. Anyway... Here is the marker. I did see a zombie over there somewhere that is now hiding in the trees. Gone. God, I love this rifle so freaking much. Boop you. Hang on a second. And then boop you. <laughs> so good. It's so good. There's something big and shiny up on the hill over there. I'll wait for later for that one. Let's get the old shovel out and start digging away. Grab these governs quick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's all I've done. I dug directly down below me and I'm right next to the bloody chest. To the point where I can't actually get myself back out again because I can't place ladders <laughs> to get back out. I'll go like you. All right, fair enough then. Can I reach down and grab that one? Make sure everything is reloaded with a nice and ready to go. What have you got for me? Another T6 pipey. Will do. Thank you. There's a tree right next to me. Boop you. Boop you. And then, oh, I reckon I could probably just go with the spear for you lot then. Gone. 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 Oh my god, I feel like a fucking weapon. It's no longer the zombie apocalypse. It's the Josh apocalypse. What I do want to quickly have a look at. Do have you guys. No, see, so you're still empty. So loot hasn't respawned. I, I came here a long bloody time ago, so it wouldn't have respawned over here. Well, I should have respawned if it was going to, because I was last out there when I was beating down that cop car. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I did just forget to loot it. It's a bit unlike me. Giving in to my looting desires is half of what I do with my life, but all right, fair enough then. Any lockpicks? No. All right, let's just get back home. In fact, I might be able to get back to trading before he closes for the night and get another reward. Wouldn't say nah. Gotta go fast. Gotta go quick. Old mate sign is still open. I have no idea what time it is. So I hope you have enough time to do some business with you. Straight in. Straight in. Welcome nice and fast. Oh, T5 claw yeah. hammer. Armor mod pocket schematic. Oh no, I want all of these. I have a tier one claw hammer already. So I, I got tier five is great. But it doesn't actually give you any benefit. You're worth a lot of dosh, but you make my own pockets. It'd be dumb not to. It'd be dumb not to. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. I'll take the other fetch and clear uh, off you. No, I you. won't. Never mind. I'll take the other clear zombies off. As I meant to say the first time, the Rippin' yeah, Residence. Right nice. It's just down the road. I'll do that first thing in the morning. But tomorrow night is Horde night. So, have to do some Horde base upgrades as well. Make sure everything is spick and span. Before I go, there is something very important I need to do that someone very astutely pointed out in the comments about 18 years ago. I'm standing up there on my coffees and frothies balcony, staring at the sunrise, ogle on the backside of advertising. Not happening. Not bloody happening. I'm going to install some ad blocker and maybe even sponsor blocker as well so that I can enjoy my sunrise. There's other things we'll look at without having to see this nonsense. Uh, you are fine, actually. I can't repair you, but that's all good. Let's get my stamina back up and boop. Run out of the way. There we go. There we go. New block origin has been installed. No more ads getting in the way. Lovely. Lovely, bloody, lovely. Might even take the arm on here, too. Oh. Oh, no. Um. Okay. Oh, it's about to be nighttime as well. You need to nah. 
go away. I probably should have... Oh, that's a copper. Probably should have thought that potentially... Sit you, the absolute ever-loving fuck down. Probably should have thought that breaking all that metal might have called in a couple of uh, shenanigans, but we'll be all right. Missed that shot, though. Didn't miss you. I, I did miss all of these. All right, that's getting a little bit interesting. It's about to be night time. Trader is closed, so I'm just going to... Oh, completely whiff it. Stamina. Oh, stamina. Stamina, please. I need a kill. Damn it. Thank you. I need a kill with my spear to get my stamina back again. Nice. You're gone. You're just lurking. Another one over there, too. There's a lot of zombies around. Damn it. That's a bit better. I think, like, even though I don't have the crosshairs, it's still, like, a little all over the shop, so I need to be wary of that. Missed it. Better. And dead. Does that give me all my stamina back? It does. Love it. Quickly read my schematic for my pockets. Close my doors as well so no draft or zombies get in. Now, you, what are you going to take? You are in the workbench, which I have, which is fine. Still can't make the double pocket mods there either, but polymers... In fact, I don't even need to go grab it out of the stuff. I'm going to just go straight into here with my wonderful wireless crafting mod. Could make 12. Don't need 12. It takes six seconds as well. How many do I need? Oh, I don't have... Oh, so I... Because I took off my tier 5 hood, I now can't put a pocket onto you. But I think the... I just sold the hood too. Actually, I can't even go back on it. That's a shame. So, no room for you. You've already got... So, one there. Two... Three. So I need three pockets, please. One, two, three. Lovely. And while you're working away... In fact, that's a good spot for just right there. What have you got for me? So you're just a bunch of paintings? No. Great. I bought a degree, but these are all just like lovely pictures. I mean, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, let's do it. You, I need to take my uh, my torch back, please. Thank you. Although this is all like, these are all lovingly photos, you know? These aren't schematics for guns and things. So I reckon, put a photo of a papa just there and a cheeky, is there what, like a cat photo that's the same size? <laughs> what a happy looking boy. Uh, you, it's another doggo. Where did, where did all the cats go? I've seen so many cats out and about. Maybe just that one. We'll just go the big old cat. Meow. Chuck you down. There we go. That's looking... Oh, actually. No, I can't take you back. All right, it's there forever. I was going to say, I could like put you on top of the bookshelves like it's a standing picture. Maybe the next one I find, I'll do that. Got all those pockets chucked on. I can put that torch back to where it was a second ago. Like you. There we go. Light up all of my base. We're looking good. So that is the end of day 13. I... Oh, my, uh, my mushrooms are done. Can I grab some of you, please? Yep, with the knife. Harvest up you. Didn't get any of the seeds back. That is a shame. But I can put you away into them. No. So that's going to be the end of the day for me. I've got a lot of upgrades and things I need to do. I need to go fix the stairs up for my base out there. Also, to chuck in some protections for what might be some vultures tonight and get everything sorted. I also want to extend this. There's a couple of zombies out there. I want to extend this a little bit further. How far... I'm not sure. I'll have to build it and test it and see if the zombies will part the way I want them to. But there's some extra room to shoot them all right in their flabby faces and even make, before I forget, some barbed wire. You served me so well last time. Let's get like 25 of you. That might be good to whack you down. But I'll have to do those upgrades, enjoy my new living quarters and everything that's got going on in here, and then fight the Blood Rune Horde in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.